Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a $50 Iron Man. The winning team is going to win $50, the losing team is going to lose $50, and on team 1 we have Mrs. Pretty, and on team 2 we have GG Jubriel XD. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum, link down below at the very top description if you want to play in any future Iron Mans yourself, and let's hop in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead... And we are going to see GG Jibriel XD win Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. And decide to go first. 40 versus 48. Opening hands, we have Rika Sheet, Sunvine, Sewing, Ash, Tasking, and Loki. They have Imperm, Unicorn, Tasking, Birth, and Unicorn. Okay, so we have Cash Tier going up against Rika Sun Avalon. Now, this is a deck that a lot of people have been talking about very recently. Because, you know, this deck hasn't been hit at all. Um, Special Summon Unicorn, Unicorn Effect... That goes through, and then they're going to go search for Papayas, and then afterwards activate Papayas, Chain Ash Blossom onto that, Unicorn Effect rip from the extra deck, they're going to rip Teardrop. That is one thing though, this deck has a decent amount of one ofs and ripping can hurt. Uh, normal Summon Unicorn, but you know, you probably just switch up the extra deck for Unicorn the same way that like every other deck has. Make Shanger Law, Tasking, go set Big Bang, set Imperm, Pass, Draw Unexpected Die. Okay, standby phase, Shangri-La effect of special, um, which will play into tasking, depending on what they're trying to grab off of it, though. Okay, so they asked to read the trap. Um, it's like a banish, and both players keep one monster. They're going to, oh, yeah, they're going to grab evenly off that. Battle phase, end of battle phase, evenly. They just keep Fenrir. Yeah, it's so weak. Activate unexpected die to go special. Bring out Loki. And link off, summon out Dryas, Dryas effect goes search, grab sewing. Uh, they could Fenrir banish. Alright, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and do that. Normal summon Loki. And now this is just full combo anyways, through the Fenrir banish. Um, so that's just, that's just game. Effect, effect, summon from the extra deck. Gain the thousand back that we just lost to summon healer. And then bring out the Loki. Healer effect, gain 300 life points. Link off, go into Jasmine. And then link off, go into Dryas, link off, go into Healer, Healer effect, gain life points, Jasmine effect to go search, grab Primula, and then Jasmine tribute to go special summon out Petal, special Primula now, Petal effect, go grab Mudan, and then link, summon out the Midas, Midas effect, bring out Loki, then go into Benji. Mood in effect, tribute, special effect, go grab field spell, field spell set, glamour, activate glamour, tribute Fenrir, go search, grab princess, and then grab Primula. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to see uh, Jib admit defeat there. So, moving on to game two now, we are going to see Jib go first. We got Loki, Tasking, Imperm, Primula, Tasking, they have Imperm, Rise Heart, Birth, Ash, and Judgment. Okay, so their hand is awkward. Um, Rise Heart plus Birth does do something, though. It's not a complete brick, which is nice. Uh, Banish is for cost, by the way. So it's not like you're going to imperm this. I mean, it would stop it from being level 7. Uh, but that's, like, not the biggest deal. Banish is Reaper, Petal, Glamour. Reaper? Okay, so... Uh, there's no way, right? Because that means your extra deck has to have, like... A Rise Heart in it. I guess maybe you side it in or something? Maybe. Activate birth, birth effects, summon out unicorn. Talk about like siding in the rise heart. Obviously, you would not mean deck reaper in this open up a format. Unless if you're like on flunder or something, then maybe. Imperm the unicorn, make Shanger law, set imperm judgment pass, draw the third tasking. That's unfortunate. Stand by face, Shanger law effect. Like the two tasking could have been okay if the opponent judgments it. Activate tasking, chain ash. Yeah, we just lost three cards to that one ash. Normal summon Loki. Activate Judgment on that. Could have also... Um, maybe they're afraid of them using, like, Moodin or something. I was going to say, you could just stop the Link if you really want to. But you could also just, like, Imperm the Link, but then they still have a plan. Okay, I guess they just wanted to play around it. So, on to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see Mrs. Pretty go first. We got Tasking, Unexpected Die, Prosperity, Unexpected Die, and Sewing. They have Unicorn, Gamma, Terraforming, Papayas, and Fenrir. I feel like I already know how it's going to play out. Unexpected Die, Summon Loki, make the Link 1. They're going to Gamma this. Effect. Oh, thinking on it? Yeah, that sucks, the Gamma. 
Then they get hit with Tasking for Talons. Yo, because they have a monster on field now. So, activate, look at their hand. Uh, they're going to rip the fan rear away out of all of these. Interesting, especially because Terraforming is just fan rear. Um, just by grabbing Prime Planet, but then their monsters also get bigger. But, okay. Unexpected die. Go summon Loki. And then Link off, go into Dryas. Dryas effect grab sewing. Sewing, summon out Twin. And then effect, special back from the graveyard. Special summon out from the extra. Gain a thousand life points back. And then we're going to summon Healer. Effect, gain 300 life points. Make Jasmine. And then go into the Dryas. And then go into the Healer. Effect, gain 300 life points. Jasmine effect, go search. And then it's going to grab Mood in there. Uh, Jasmine, Tribute to Healer, Special Summon Out, Petal. Petal Effect. And then that's going to grab Princess. Activate Pot of Prosperity. Banish 3, look at the top 3. Okay, and then that hits Barrier or Primula. It's probably just Barrier. Shut them out completely. Yeah, especially because like our engine's already rolling here. Link off, go into Midas, Midas effect, bring out Loki, and then turn those into Benji, activate the Moodin effect, tribute pedal, special summon effect, go grab Con Con, Con Con effect, set Rika Sheet, and then set D barrier, and just pass turn. You see, if you grab uh, the Primula, then you can summon Princess, and summon Primula, make the XYZ, the uh, rank 4, effect add back from the graveyard and then like your end board's a lot stronger but you don't have like that floodgate that just plays around whatever their top deck is really um yeah like d barrier is so broken when, whenever this is not saying whenever d barrier is good it's so broken like what are they gonna do they draw it evenly go battle phase activate evenly chain barrier call xyz and then they're going to leave the Benji on field, activate Terraforming, Terraforming go search, grab Prime Planet. Yeah, see, like, Prime Planet is literally just Fenrir. Special Summon Unicorn, but it's also other cards too to boost on attack. Unicorn effect, go search, grab Birth. And then activate Prime Planet to go search, grab Fenrir. And then activate Birth. Okay, Normal Summon Fenrir effect, that's also okay. Uh, that will go ahead, grab Fenrir, technically they could make a link, but yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you're going to bring out Fenrir, pass, and then end the main phase 2 thing, they could have, I was going to say, they could have benji bounced this Fenrir when they go to special summon out the other Fenrir, because you know that they're not comboing this turn, because they're locked in the... Like, they're locked out of XYZs, and once they activate Papayas, they're locked into XYZs. So you probably should just chain Benji to bounce this, but then you get your extra deck ripped. Maybe that's what they're afraid of there. Benji bounce, but it's like you want to summon Petal anyways, so you're going to get hit with Fenrir no matter what, it seems like. Banish face down, rip Teardrop, three cards left in extra, summon Petal, and then draw Princess. Okay, um, okay, it looks like they were lagging there. Summon out Princess. I don't know what's in their extra exactly. Unicorn, Fenrir effect, and then they're going to chain Princess to negate the Fenrir, uh, then hit the rank 9. They said, and then they just submit defeat. Wow, so we actually just saw they lost that game. That's crazy that they lost that game. What? Wow. Okay, if you lose that game, I don't know what I can say about the deck. Double unexpected die to play through Gamma. Talents to get their hand. Prosperity in the barrier. And you still lose. I mean, that evenly put in a lot of work. Nice game. Offered rematch. E. Huh? Oh, is this their second match? Okay, and they're just gonna run it back with the... That's so crazy to not, like, hop out of the game and hop into a new one because that means your opponent knows what you're on. But I guess if you're gonna play the same main deck anyways, it's gonna have 48 cards and they're gonna know what you're on anyways. 
All right, and also this player's been playing this deck for a while. Um, so Jib wins the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, decides to go first. Um, okay, so... Also, I messed up at the beginning when I said $50, because it's $50 ahead. Um, but it's a 3v3. So it's $150 to the winning team. And $150 being lost by the other team. But each individual player wins fifty dollars. So we got petals, sewing, glamour, a pointer, prosperity. They have ash, rise heart, ash, scare call, catch tira, and talons. So they just pass because they brick. Draw a Rika Con Con. Normal summon effect. Go grab Princess. Activate Con 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 Con. Go set Rika Sheet. Activate Glamour Tribute. Chain Ash Blossom. Activate Prosperity to try to play through. Look at the top three cards. Grab Loki. Okay, and then put the rest back, and then activate Princess to special summon out, uh, link off, go in the Dryas, activate Sewing, special out Loki, and then Dryas effect, special summon out from the extra deck, that's going to bring out Healer effect, up 300 life points, and then turn those into Jasmine. Then link those off. Effect, bring back. Also, a pointer in the main deck. That's, uh, that's just for tasking. Go for Benji. Attack with 25. But it is indeed half the up Prosperity. I don't know how I feel about Prosperity in this deck. I'm not going to lie. It seems really, really, really bad. Like, before, before Cash Tira, I think Prosperity was a good card in the deck. Um, but now... If you get into the grind game, um, your extra is hurting. They draw Prime Planet. We also know that they play two rank fours. Otherwise, it would have been hit last game. Pretty sure that's my thought on it. They're going to go a Pointer, Reveal, Banish the Prime Planet. That was obviously top decked. And then activate Scare Call, Cash Tira. I mean, sure, they're going to go normal summon Ash to try to make Fleur. Um, yeah, normal summon, on summon, sheet, tribute, take Ash. And then, yeah, they just submit the feet there. So, going on to the next game now, we are going to see Jib go first. We got Mudan, Petal, Princess, Mudan, and Loki. They have Scareclaw, Kashtira, Papaya, Fenrir, Judgment, and Talons. Let's go ahead, special summon out Fenrir. And then activate Papaya's target Fenrir. Go special summon out Unicorn. And then activate Fenrir, effect to go search. Go grab Riseheart. Then Unicorn effect to go search. Grab Birth. So... No hand traps, no going second cards in this hand. <coughs> Whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy. Okay, but summon out Shangri-La, and then activate Rise Heart to special summon out. Okay, okay, Rise Heart effect, go banish Big Bang, banish three face down. Our top card would have been in perm. Uh, loses Reaper there too. Shangri-La, Big Bang, so special summon out, the Fenrir locks his own. Okay, go for a Rise Heart. Yeah, activate Scareclaw, Catch Tira, Banish Papayas, special summon Papayas, and a Rise Heart effect, so we get to attach, add back. Then, oh, I can't wait till there's an attach button. It's got to be coming really, really, really soon. Go for Mind Tacker, Mind Tacker effect to rip. Yeah, they just submit the feet. Um, moving on into game number three now. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see the Rico player decide to go second. Okay, so the opponent was not going to be expecting that. They have Petal, Con Con, Rose Archer, Ash, and Sewing. They have Prime Planet evenly, Prime Planet, Big Bang, and Ash. Um, activate Prime Planet. <laughs> Could just throw Ash down on that and pray. Um, but that does play into a lot. Unicorn, go grab Papayas. Like, imagine you ash this and they just summon Unicorn. Activate Papayas, chain Ash, Unicorn, go rip the Jasmine. Then set Big Bang, they draw Talons. Activate Con Con, normal summon Petal, Con Con effect, go set Glamour. You have to have a Recon field to set. Then activate Glamour, tribute their monster, get hit with Ash. Activate Talons to look at their hand, hit Prime Planet out. 
pedal effect to go search now. Grab mood on. Shouldn't you have done pedal and then talents? I guess just like, I don't know, what if they have like Valor? And then they like, just Valor this. I guess this would be okay. Oh no, because then if they Valor this, you'd want to draw probably. But all right, go for dry ass. Activate sewing, special summon out Loki, lose life points, Draz effect, special summon out from the extra deck, bring out healer, plus 300. And then, yeah, they're just submitting defeat. Okay, so Dragon Ruler 2014 is next. Okay. So, we're going to have Mrs. Pretty versus Dragon Ruler 2K14. Also, I don't know why I said it was a 3v3. It's a 2v2. I, I got so confused when they played that match in the same replay. Who does that? You, uh, you're just telling them what deck you're on. At least, like, have two different builds of Sun Avalon, one with 48 cards and one with, I don't know, 43 cards. And then they might be like, oh, it's a different deck, five less cards. And then it's just the same deck. But, I don't know. I guess if you believe you've built perfection, what's the point of changing it? That's got to be a lot of confidence to stay in the same mate, stay in the same match, though. Oh, we're going to see Dragon Ruler 2K14 win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then decide to go first 40 versus 48. We got Unexpected Dies, Sewing, Evenly, Con Con, Ash. They have Ashuda, Adara, Ashina, Long Young, Moe. Okay. Uh, they're lucky that they got to go first. I actually don't know how. I mean, this thing has a lot of 10 years. It has a lot of gas. Maybe you'd be able to push through the end board, but the end board's really good on this side. Go in the Monk. The Shooter Special. And then Discard Otara. Special Summon Out Long Young. Bring out Token. Okay. This seemed a little bit weird. But I guess if you want to summon Fleur at all this turn, you kind of have to do it now. You just pray that you don't get hit with Nib. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. You saw like Task in their deck, Talents in their deck, Evenly in their deck. Ashina, banish, chain ash on that. Otter effect, banish, add back Ashina. And then normal summon Moe, effect, reveal Ashina, bring out the token. And then I can make the uh, the good old Grandmaster, yeah, Grandmaster Moe. I wonder if we draw into a non engine card here. Talents would be broken. Uh, go search blackout. Draw Ashina. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Pass. They draw Imperm. So they're going to go Imperm, target Fleur, battle face, end of battle face evenly. Uh, yep, keep Grandmaster. Which just sucks so much because even if this player just said pass, you don't do anything. You just poke with 28 because you got a double 10 Ashina in hand. Bring out Loki. And then turn down the Dryas. Dryas effect. And even though they do have the sewing in hand, if they get hit with Grandmaster, it will hurt them. Uh, because they're not going to get the extra body. But that's fine. Go ahead, summon Twin. Because Twin gives them an extra body. Anyhow, they said lol. I probably felt like they got like perfect counter there. Go in the Jasmine. Jasmine effect. Tribute. Go special pedal. And then activate Con Con. Con Con effect to go set Glamour. Glamour. Tribute Grandmaster. Go search Princess. And Primula. And then activate Petal Effect to go search for Mudan. Yeah, because you got to summon out the Mudan so we can summon the Primula. Uh, Mudan Effect, Primula Effect, Special Search. Go grab Sheet. And then Special Summon out Princess. Or I guess you can go, yeah, Summon, Bring Back, Turn those into Benji. And then Special Summon Princess. Yep, makes more sense. Especially because this is a Graveyard Effect that a lot of people forget about to summon itself back. Strena, Add Back Glamour. Then set sheet, pass, they draw a draw, and then they admit defeat. Okay, so moving on to game two now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Sword Soul go first. We got Sheet, Princess, Sewing, Harpies, Talents, they have Anti-Spell, Ashina, Vashuda, Imperm, Long Young. Oh, without that Anti-Spell, they... Well, I guess we still need a top deck. Otherwise, there's really not a lot being done. But Talents hurt Sword Soul so bad. Holy, it cooks them so easily. So they're gonna start this off. Um, they're thinking, yeah, they're gonna go Vashuda special. Okay, and then Long Young discard Ashina. 
uh, bring out itself, the token, banish Ashina. Because if you go Ashina, Link in the Monk, Special Vashuda, Ashina, Banish, Ash hurts a lot on that. Where at least this, we're going to get something no matter what if we get hit with Ash. Um, and if it does go through, we still just have Synchro 8 and Synchro 10. So go ahead, make Sinister, burn for 12. And then use Otter of Ashuda, go on the Grandmaster. Grandmaster effect goes search. We do have Long Young and Graveyard for our free banish, so we don't need to grab Emergence. So, let's see. We're going to go search Emergence on either ways. Okay. Uh, maybe we have other plans in mind. Draw on the Ash. And then activate Emergence. Uh, emergence, go grab Shadana. Indeed, they had different ideas in mind. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Instead of having Taya for the follow-up, you have a Tenny. Because your Tenny stuff will be live then. And without Blackout, the Taya is kind of weak into certain things. They draw Prosperity, get hit with Anti-Spell. All they have is Princess and Sheet. On to the next game. I guess Set Pass, they draw Heavenly Dragon Circle. I respect it. Normal Summon out Shadana. Activate Sheet, Tribute to try to take. Chain, burn for 12. And then they're going to go battle phase, attack over, attack, dropping them down to 300. So now they can't activate any spells or traps or special summon without being able to stop this first, which none of the set cards do. So top deck Lava Golem? Nope. Okay. Harpies, chain the burn, and this defeat. All right. So on to game number three now. This is for all the marbles. We're going to see Rika go first. We got Imprim, Talents, Tasking, Ash, Primula. Oh my gosh. And they brick. They have Imper, Moe, Droll, Ash, Adara. Okay, but their hand's not good. Oh, Chop Deck's Heavenly Dragon Circle. Normal Moe, Effect, Reveal, Adara, Chain Imperm. Then they said Think It In Response, Chain Circle, Tribute Moe, Chain Ash. So they get to bring out Token. Then they just set Imperm, Pass, Draw, Con, Con. Oh, that's good. Normal Summon, Primula, Activate, Con, Con. Con, Con Effect, Go Set, Glamour. Glamour to tribute the token. They're gonna hit that with Ash, um, but then they're gonna go Talents to draw on the Imperm and Rose Archer. Uh, gets hit with Draw and Lockbird on the resolution of that. Activate Tasking. Go set Rika Sheet, and then Battle Phase. I guess Poke. Uh, may as well, right? Um, they said Misclick. Okay, he wants to set Imperm and their Imperm Calm, but the thing is, is if you set Imperm and their Imperm Calm, it actually plays into their Imperm. Because then their, their Imperm can stop your Imperm, which I think, which I know is more impactful here because I guess, like, you have a way to beat Imperm already? I guess this is fine now that I think about it. It just has, like, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, pass, draw Moe, and then they're going to go think, because uh, they do have Circle and Graveyard. They're going to go really thinking hard here. Uh, normal Moe, Moe effect, reveal Adara. Then in response, they said that's fine. Bring out token on resolution. Activate Rika Sheet. Tribute Moe, take token. Special summon out Adara. Okay. Yeah. Um... Like, we knew that they had that, so, like, couldn't we have just done this differently and not allowed them to get free cards? Go Heavenly Dragon Circle, Banish, go search. Um, they're gonna go ahead, search out Ashina. They said, sec, checking ruling. What ruling? You can't summon the link. What's my you saying? While that token is in the monster zone, the player who summoned... Oh, a year and a half later, I'm still learning Sword Soul rulings and stuff and interactions. Okay, um, I guess that's good to know. So if you take their token, they're still locked in the synchros. Wow, that, that changes a lot. I mean, yeah, that's just game. That's just game. They can't even out Primula. They said sex. Sorry, it's okay. Haven't seen that ruling before. Technically, Otter is still on field, my boy. So, but they're obviously not going to want to summon it. 
Koopa, draw Imperm, then they're going to go Con Con, go set, set Glamour, activate Glamour, Tribute, go search out Petal, and search out Loki. They have a way to beat the Imperm that's set, uh, they know the card in hand's Otara, summon Dryas, Dryas effect, and then the opponent says Stink on that. They're going to Imperm, Chain Rose Archer, yeah, just go search Sewing. And now they just have to sit back and watch as they lose. Effects, special from the extra deck, special from Greybird, gain 300, link off in the Jasmine, go on the Dryas, healer, gain 300, Jasmine, search out for Primula, Jasmine, tribute, summon out Petal, special summon out Primula, uh, summon out Midas, Midas effect, go in the Benji, Petal, go search for Mudden, Primula, and they're going to go ahead and go into Kanzashi, uh, tributes, summon out Mudden, Effect, Detach, Special out Moe, and then Battle Phase, that way, but, but, also you can have Special Monsters for the rest of your turn, except for Plant Monsters, this is make it a plant, also it becomes a plant monster, um, but I don't, you can't even attempt to summon that, because it's a worm, uh, but I guess you could just summon back Jasmine though, right? And like, that's also just game. Okay, sure. So, attack. Go for game. GG's, GG's. Okay, so we're going to see Mrs. Pretty win the $100 there. They played all three matches by themselves. Well, maybe not by themselves, but with their own account. On the same account. Same deck. Same 48 cards on Avalon. Ends up winning. Okay. And with all that being said, um, make sure to go ahead, like I said at the beginning, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum, link down below at the very top of the description, Iron Man's money matches, old format money matches, um, yeah, so peace, have a nice day, stay safe.